Princess Beatrice has announced the happy news that she is engaged to her boyfriend Eduardo, but the royal's position in having to ask the Queen for permission to marry was a mess, an MP claimed in a throwback debate. Princess Eugenie announced her older sister's engagement to her beau Eduardo Mapley Mozzi on Instagram, with Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson confirming the news. Eugenie's post included a statement from the happy couple that read, We are extremely happy to be able to share the news of our recent engagement. We are both so excited to be embarking on this life adventure together and can't wait to actually be married. We share so many similar interests and values and we know that this will stand us in great stead for the years ahead, full of love and happiness. However, with Princess Beatrice's place in the line of succession coming in at number 9, her position in having to get the Queen's consent to marry was a mess, after the passing of the 2013 Succession to the Crown Act. Previously, anyone in the line of succession had to ask the permission of the monarch to marry, but the 2013 Act limited the requirement to the first six heirs in line. When the new rules were being ushered in, Chris Bryant MP argued that the Act left the legal position of heirs like Beatrice was just a mess. Researcher Neil Partworth, writing in the Modern Law Review in 2013 commented, although not under a legal duty to do so, such course of action would ensure that their place in the line of royal succession was not lost. This means that it would ensure Beatrice's continued place in the succession and, importantly, any children that may come from her marriage. At the time, before the birth of Charlotte, Beatrice was sixth in line, behind her father Prince Andrew. However the subsequent births of Princess Charlotte, Prince Louis and Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor have moved Beatrice down the line of succession. This leaves the princess in a position where she is close to throne in the line of succession, but does not have to ask the monarch's permission to marry. This is in contrast to her cousins Prince William and Prince Harry, who did have to ask permission to marry Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle. The monarch's consent is particularly important because it means that any children born in the marriage can take their own places in the line of succession. The act also had implications for Beatrice's last significant long-term relationship. The princess dated Dave Clark for 10 years from 2006. This meant that she was in a position to potentially marry her long-term love while still being within the requirement to ask permission of the queen. However, royal insiders cast doubt on whether Her Majesty would give her permission. A source told the Daily Mail in 2015, William isn't a huge fan of Dave. It's fair to say that if Beatrice had asked the Queen for permission to marry Dave, and she in turn asked William privately for his view, she may not have been given a glowing report. The center of Prince William's consternation was reportedly that he worried over Mr. Clark being indiscreet. The prince is well known for not tolerating breaches of confidence, with one friend recalling, you can forget it if you abuse his trust. 